weather forecast here at home as we take this live look over Southfield talking about record heat. I'm hoping for a little bit of some warm weather here, but I know we are getting closer and closer to winter here. Hey, Hallie. Hi, Whitney, and we were talking about it too. the start of the month. Yeah, it feels like fall feels pretty typical. By the end, it feels more like winter and right in between. All bets are off, right? It can be a pretty turbulent month overall. We can get those blasts of real cold air, but we can also moderate and warm up. And how about the latter? So we are going to moderate and warm up as we head into the new week. Today, though, on track to be a pretty average day, a nice fall day overall. We're seeing a little more cloud cover this time of the morning than we did yesterday, but overall still staying dry. And that dry weather continues until late in the week, along with that warm up. But we are going to see a chance for rain by Friday, I think. 32 degrees in Detroit right Right now, our winds are calm or light. 30 is what we dropped to this morning, so that is below that average of 35. And we knocked off a degree of our average high from yesterday. So now 50 is an average high, 69 degrees. That's the record back in 1902. 27 degrees in Ann Arbor, seeing the sun shining in Jackson, Adrian, and Monroe. Temperatures in the upper 20s to low 30s across the board. And there are those winds, so calm or light winds. Not a big impact on our wind chill, just seeing a little bit of a, a a difference like in Lapeer 24 is how it feels feels like the uh, upper 20s to around 30 for most locations and we're looking at our satellite and radar composite so as this moves a little bit closer on the radar showing up as a light rain or a bit of a mix a lot not reaching the ground what is is very light moving toward Lansing up towards Saginaw it's pushing in more cloud cover for us this morning so we're going to break through some of that by the time we get to the afternoon south to southeast winds remain on the lighter side throughout the day about five to ten miles per hour warm front lifts through the cold front swings in behind it. We still have high pressure fighting for us, trying to keep things dry for the most part, and it does look like it will succeed as we get into the afternoon. But we're seeing the leading edge of some milder weather just down to our south and west. So that's a little taste that we get tomorrow. You see a lot more 60s as we get into the afternoon today, stretching from Omaha, St. Louis, all the way down into northern Texas. Now our trend here at home, Upper 40s today. I don't think we're going to be as cold tomorrow. So it looks like temperatures above freezing. As a matter of fact, mid to upper 30s overnight. And then we're into the 50s for highs tomorrow. So we look at our hour by hour forecast. Here comes the warm front comes through on a dry note or pushes that chance for rain and keeps it to our north. The cold front swings through tomorrow. It's going to be the second half of the day. So southwest winds out ahead of the front will allow temperatures to warm into the 50s. Behind it will drop a bit for Tuesday. We stay dry and high pressure just slides off to our south in the coming days, even for midweek. We rebound and those temperatures again back into the 50s with no chance for rain until Friday. Just wanted to show you the winds though tomorrow with that cold front out ahead of it are gusts anywhere from 25 to upwards of 30 miles per hour. So yeah, it is going to be quite breezy. Temperatures today upper 40s to around 50, maybe a little bit milder, closer to the Ohio border. And then tonight, partly cloudy. I talked about those temperatures above average in the upper 30s for most locations. Well into the 50s to Tomorrow, low 50s on Tuesday. We stay in the 50s.